So I just caught up with uh, a documentary from 2019, uh, which is uh, very relevant all of a sudden again uh, because of recent events regarding uh, Elizabeth Holmes being uh, arrested or sentenced or charged or something like that. This is called The Inventor Out for Blood in Silicon Valley. I watched this on HBO Max. I'm a sucker for documentaries. I'm a sucker for documentaries on uh, HBO Max and Netflix. Uh, they tend to be what I call murder documentaries, but stuff that's, you know, about real, truth is stranger than fiction, as they say. And so many documentaries now are so amazingly put together. In the old days, you know, documentaries were usually shot on 16 millimeter, and there was some location shoots, and there were some people talking, but they weren't like really gorgeous. They didn't feel like, they didn't have necessarily the sweep of a feature, mainstream feature film. And at some point in the last couple decades, documentaries got beautiful and documentaries got really, really well constructed. So I'm a, I'm a sucker, as I say, for them. So uh, The Inventor is about Elizabeth Holmes. Now, I did not know anything about this. I had seen the icon, the poster for this on HBO Max, but I did not know what the deal was and I hadn't watched it. But now all of a sudden it's popping up in the news that she has just been sentenced and I was like, I wanna, what, what's the deal? Oh yeah, there was that HBO documentary. Let me watch that. So I literally watched that last night as I record this. And it's really good. It's really good. It tells the story of Elizabeth Holmes, who's this very young uh, woman who decided she had come up with this way to do uh, blood testing that did not require drawing vials of blood uh, with a needle in your arm that was, you know, time consuming and a lot of people were uncomfortable and afraid and all this. And her whole thing was this. She has this little tiny vial. It was uh, uh, just a little prick uh, in your finger uh, that you would... Uh, draw a tiny amount of blood and that would be put into this machine that it would immediately diagnose if you had any health problems. And the whole idea was that this would allow people to test quickly and easily and regularly and it would give results immediately and people could catch serious disease very early and people would live longer and diseases would be far more preventable and treatable and that was the idea. Very much based on Thomas Edison with her philosophy of you have to fail 10,000 times before you succeed, and she named this this unit that almost looked like an industrial, uh, I don't know, in my brain, DVD duplicator or DVD buffer, but it was this this unit that's, I can't show you on this camera, but this, this unit that's so big and black, and you just slide the little vial in there, and in a moment it comes up on the screen and tells you, uh, what the deal is. So she created this giant company in Silicon Valley, all these employees, a billion dollars of investment or something like that. Just, we're talking big numbers here. And the problem was that the thing didn't really exist or work. So there's this, um, I don't, you don't know that unless you already know the story and I'm ignorant of a lot of news. If it's not about movies, I don't really care for it. A lot of this news I'm not too hep on, which is why I watched this thing. And uh, so I can go along with the story and not know where it's going. And I don't believe at the very beginning they give that fact away. It, as you go, as it goes, and, and there was an insane amount of footage they had access to, whoever, the director of this, um, because they had like a, at one point they had Errol Morris, document, great documentary filmmaker, uh, record in his style, the Interatron, I think, the Interacam, something like that they call it, all of these interviews for promotional purposes. So you, he had, there was tons of footage and they were like always filming each other or they were always filming her and what was going on there for promotional and news purposes. So this has a lot to draw from, a lot of like you are there kind of footage intercut with interviews with people who worked there or various levels of uh, this company interacting with this company, including reporters who who, who did uh, articles on them, who sort of broke the news. And, and at, even early on, were like, they're not telling us something. Certain things they don't have really good answers for. And it, they bring up the notion of fake it till you make it uh, as a Silicon Valley uh, mindset. And this, this company certainly had that where... Uh, you know, we have this idea, it's great, we really wanna do this. Uh, we just don't actually have the technology yet. And we're gonna announce that this thing can do this thing. And then after we make that public announcement, we're gonna to go to our engineers and say, okay, you need to figure out how to make this thing do this. So it's, it's kind of comedic in ways. Ultimately, it wasn't very comedic because a lot of people, something that wasn't quite really ready was put out into it, test marketing, and people were getting results from blood tests that, that as it says in one of the analysis and reports, could have led, led to uh, illness or death because the results they were given were just not 
not right. So it's it's kind of a wild story. And a lot of these documentaries I watch that are on the surface about a really boring subject, you watch them and you're just like, this is crazy. This is amazing. So I would pretty highly recommend this. If, if you know the Elizabeth Holmes story to agree, this will tell you more about it. Or if you're a stoop like me, who just sees the name on the news and sees some friends going, that's outrageous. And I'm just like, what was her deal again? This is, uh, it wasn't very long either. Maybe, maybe 100 minutes, maybe an hour and a half. It wasn't a series. It was just a, a one, you know, one documentary that was made a couple years ago that is suddenly very, very relevant again. So I would recommend if you, if you have HBO Max, if you have access to this, uh, it was really well done, beautifully shot. Um, it'll make you a little mad. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you a little sad that this technology doesn't actually exist because what a wonderful world it would be if it did. Maybe someday it will. It is The Inventor.